Today I'm going to talk about Azure queues. Azure currently has two queue options available, storage queues and service bus queues. Storage queues were first to Azure. They are part of Azure storage and feature a simple REST interface with get, put, and peek commands available. Storage queues are a reliable persistent messaging mechanism for working within or between various services and environments. Service bus queues are at the heart of the broader Azure messaging infrastructure, which support PubSub and some more advanced patterns. Service bus queues also have more support for integrating applications or parts of applications, which can then span multiple communication protocols, data contracts, trust domains, and even network environments. Having been introduced later to Azure, service bus queues have significantly more options to meet solution and application requirements as you find in your environment. So today, you know, there's a lot of things to look at from these two pieces. And what I want to do is talk about three reasons you might choose one versus the other. This is not an exhaustive list. This is a short list for each of those, but it gives you some kind of a way to start thinking about it. So here are three reasons you might choose storage queues. If you need to store over 80 gigabytes of messages in your queue, then you need to use storage queues. This is often if you want to retain that history in the queue or you know you're going to have a lot of messages sitting there or you have larger messages in your queue. Storage queues could be a better option for that scenario. If you want to track progress of the message in a queue, use storage queues. This is reason two. And so if you're trying to figure out where it is in the process of the queue and track everything that's going on with that message and everything that's happening, storage queues are a great option for that. If you require server-side logs for all the transactions executed against your queue, choose storage queues. So as we look at these three key areas, let's re revisit them really quickly. If you have 80 gig of messages needed in your queue, then you're going to want to be using storage queue, especially over 80 gig. Um, if you want to track the progress of the message of your queue, then you're going to be in a storage queue. And if you require server-side logs for everything that's transacted against your queue, that's the reason for storage queues. Let's look at service bus queues now. If you require first-in, first-out guarantees in your queue, then you're going to want to use service bus queues. This is also called FIFO. And this is something that you'll want to consider because there's a lot of requirements around first in first out guarantees. If you require role-based access to your queues for different senders and receivers, you should use the service bus queues. So in this case, you want to basically authenticate using role-based uh, scenarios that's available in service bus. If you need to be able to publish, you can see batches of messages at a time, not just singletons, but actual batches of messages, then you're going to want to look at the service bus queues. So when we compare that against three of the reasons that I'm calling out around service bus queues are first in, first out for your queue, um, guaranteed role-based access to your for your different senders or receivers, and publishing consuming batches of messages. In contrast, a little bit there, you know, keep in mind if you have a smaller message set or smaller message size, often the service bus is going to be more optimal for your choice. Um, but storage offers uh, more storage and larger sets of data that can be retained. While there are many other differentiators between these two products, this should give you a basic understanding of the queue types and a starting point for selecting the best queue for your workload. If you have questions about queues or any other product within Azure data, just let us know. Click the link below. We'd be more than happy to reach out to you and talk to you more about Azure.